This hidden Neville Goddard manifestation technique blew my mind. Namaste, my friends. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt. I'd like to thank you for stopping by to manifest with me today. In this video, I wanna share with you the, the hidden manifestation technique from Neville Goddard. Hidden in plain sight, let's say. This is very, very powerful. This actually I found in, in some of Neville's teachings and I'm gonna share an exact quote with you. Um, what Neville says exactly how to manifest, leave everything else out. I'm not gonna, I'll put even my pen down. We're not gonna do a journal entry. We're not doing any of that today. I'm gonna show you exactly what Neville says he does in order to manifest what you want. This is something you can do tonight. This is something you could do right now. And this is something that you can do knowing that it is working. And that's what's so powerful. When you know it's working, when you know, okay, if I just keep doing this for a little bit longer, okay, I, you know, again, baby steps to what we want. Each day get a little bit closer to our manifestation. That's the goal. And finally, the end result will be you actually attain your manifestation. If you do this exercise on a daily basis, you will get what you want. No beating around the bush. I'm gonna put it on the screen for you right now. This comes from Neville Goddard, his exact words, and what you need to do in order to manifest what you want. Here's the hidden manifestation technique from Neville. When I close my eyes, this world is shut out and I am blind to the outer world. Then I feel myself into the state of my desire. With my inner eye, I see it all around me. I sense its solidity. And when my five senses are awakened, I have the feeling of relief, knowing it is accomplished. When I open my physical eyes, my physical world returns and tries to persuade me that what I did was unreal. But having done it time and time again, I know that my desire is moving towards its objective fulfillment. Anything and everything you need to know about how to manifest what you want is right there. Right there in that. How powerful is that? That goes with everything that Neville talks about, about how we need to live in the end result, how we need to feel it real, but at the same time, deny the senses of the outside world. Deny the senses. Even though all this is saying, yeah, but you don't have your manifestation, you go back into this idea knowing that Actually, no, I do. I closed my eyes, I saw it, I felt it. I brought it in around me, I know it's here. Outside world 3D, you can say whatever you want, you can try to do whatever you want, but I know the truth, and the truth is what I see and hear. There's so much power in that, because that's where a lot of people kind of get a little messed up on their manifestations, is they pay too much attention to everything going on out here. They pay too much attention to it. And Neville says it so powerfully himself. When I open my eyes, my physical world returns and tries to persuade me that everything I just saw, everything I just managed, imagined, it's not true. The outside world is good at persuading. It will try its best. But Neville says, but I know better. I know better. I know what the truth is. And I know the truth that I'm seeing will objectify itself. It will come into my experience. It has to. There's no other way for it to work. So I hope this resonates with you in the sense, is it a hidden technique? No, it's pretty much right there. Neville talks about it a lot, but for him to describe it just like that, I hope that brings a lot of relief to you where you can see that, hey, Neville knows. <laughs> Neville Goddard knows, it happens to him too. The outside world, the 3D world, the physical world tries to convince him otherwise, but he stays in that state. He knows better and he stays faithful to the idea that it is done that all this out here, it's just an illusion that the truth is your manifestation's here, it's done, you felt it, you were there with it, and the more you do that, the quicker you bring it into your life. So on a daily basis, do this. Spend some time with your desires. Go into your room, whatever the case is, or it can be in your office where you're working or your class, or whatever the case is, and take some time to ah, take a breath and imagine yourself, visualize it, feel it. You with that new car, you with that, that, that significant other, you, you with all that money that you've been desiring, whatever the case is, spend time with your desires and know that the more time you spend, the faster it's coming to you. Don't give a lick of attention to what's going on out here. Even when it's trying to persuade you otherwise, it's gonna be a good persuader, but don't give into it. You know the truth. You know you're a powerful manifester 
and you know you are continuing to create your reality every single day by simply spending more and more time in here and less time out here. If you wanna take this manifestation technique to the next level and kind of receive step-by-step -step instructions on what you can do each day in order to manifest even faster, bring in what you want faster than ever, I share those steps with you in this video right here. So be sure to check it out next.